Namaste to all 10 standard students. I am Ramya, a science teacher from Sri Gurukul Group of Institution, Tumakuru. You all have already completed the four subjects of your board examination. I hope you have all done good in all the exam. Now it's a turn of science subject. So we have a three days of study holidays for, uh, for the preparation of science exam. So we can easily divide the days, each day per each part, like physics, chemistry and biology. Though we are having a three days of time, but many of you are still in the confusion confusion or you are worrying that uh, what to study what not to study should we come should we have to study the complete whole textbook i know children it is very difficult to cover all the lessons within the three days don't worry children i am here to help you that in this video i am going to share as some of the predictable questions and some of the important areas where we need to focus in each lessons uh, in the chemistry and biology part so that this may help you to score the good marks in a science exam so let's start in chemistry part we have four chapters the first chapter that is chemical reactions and equations in this chapter the following are the important topics we need to focus and which may appear in exam balancing of equation that may ask for two marks and then many times they have repeated the question from the activity 1.4 that is when quick lime dissolves in water it forms a slaked lime which is used in whitewashing of walls and especially it is an exothermic reaction and then they may ask the diagram very important diagram that is electrolysis of water for the two marks and uh, we can expect the question from displacement reaction for this uh, reaction we need to buy her the reaction activity series and then uh, redox reaction uh, they may given one redox reaction and they may ask which is a substance gets oxidized gets reduced and which is oxidizing agent and which is a reducing agent and so on and then rancidity and corrosion for these two term we need to uh, read the definition as well as preventive measures then next chapter 2 acid bases and salts from this lesson we can expect the questions like indicators and their colors in acids and bases and what will be the effect of dilution on acids and bases that means what will be the effect of h plus ion concentration and oh minus ion concentration in acids and bases um, then what are the precautionary measures which we have to take while diluting that is for two marks and how to determine the strength of an acids and bases by conductivity for this we have a one diagram that is a uh, acid conduct electricity that may ask for two marks and then we need to study ph scale as well as their applications in daily life say for example indigestion tooth decay ant bite ph of soil and milkman adds baking soda to the milk uh, and so on and then very important topic is chloralkali process that may ask for two marks or three marks uh, along with the uses of product they may ask and uh, there are four salts are there baking soda washing soda bleaching powder and uh, pop uh, for, for all these salts we need to study the preparation steps as well as uses and uh, in this lesson one three marks important diagram is there that is reaction of zinc granules with sulfuric acid so that is very important you must practice then that is metals and non-metals in this chapter we can expect the questions from the following areas that is difference between ionic and covalent compounds that may ask for two marks and then write the electron dot structures for ionic compounds very familiar compounds they repeatedly ask are magnesium chloride sodium chloride and sodium oxide and then uh, one three marks diagram is there that is auction of uh, steam on metal that is a very important diagram you must practice and then extraction of metals many times they have repeatedly asked the mercury and copper for the extraction so that uh, we need to practice mercury and copper and then electrolytic refining of copper that is a very very important uh, question for three marks and then roasting and calcination difference between roasting and calcination that is for two marks then advantages of alloys again for two marks are uh, sometimes they may ask in the form of application Next, the chapter 4 that is carbon and its compounds. In this chapter, we can expect the questions as follows. The carbon cannot form C plus 4 and C minus 4 state. Give reason. That is a very repeated question that may ask for 2 marks. And write the electron dot structures for covalent compounds. In a textbook, they have given so many examples like hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, ammonia, water, uh, CO2 and methane, ethane and so on. You must practice all the uh, 
dot structures and then you have to read some of the definitions and examples like isomers and examples and homologous series and functional groups and the examples etc and they may ask uh, the question naming and molecular formula and structural formula for the following compounds they may ask sometimes this type of question they may ask in the four marks and five marks zone so that will be easy and next is our addition and our they may as name the following compounds or write the molecular and structural formula for the following compounds so like this type of question they may ask in the four marks and five marks question so we can easily score the marks and then oxidation and addition reaction uh, then esterification reaction we must practice that is very important then the most important and many times repeated question is a cleansing action of soap that may ask for three marks or four marks and then difference between soaps and now let's move to the biology part in biology we have five chapters the first chapter that is life processes in this chapter we can expect the questions as follows first one is mechanism of stomata for two marks and again three steps involved in photosynthesis for two marks then digestive glands enzymes and their actions they may ask for three marks or one marks two marks uh, it and then difference between aerobic and anaerobic respiration that is for 2 marks then three pathways of breakdown of glucose that is 3 marks very important and then difference between alveoli and nephron difference between arteries and veins and what is double circulation write its significance they may ask for 3 marks or 2 marks and urine formation along with the uh, diagram of nephron they may ask for the 4 marks or if they ask only urine formation they may ask for the 2 marks or 3 marks and transportation of food and water in plants that is a very 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 important um, question that is asked for the four marks and in this lesson we need to focus on two diagrams that is one is heart another one is nephron from the next chapter that is from control and coordination we can expect the questions as follows what is synapsis and uh, draw a neat label diagram of neuron that may ask for the two marks and uh, reflex action and reflex arc the five components involved in the reflex arc and then diagram of brain that is very very important for three marks and parts of the brain and their functions we need to uh, study and um, then different tropic movements in plants that is um, hydrotropism geotropism phototropism chemotropism and so on then you need to study the plant hormones that is plant promo growth promoters and growth inhibitors and then endocrine system in uh, uh, human that is uh, all the endocrine glands and their secretion and their respective functions we need to study from the next chapter that is how do organism reproduce we can expect the question as follows so importance of variations they may ask for the two marks and uh, write the differences between the asexual and sexual mode of reproduction that is for two marks and uh, what are the different modes of reproduction asexual modes of reproduction say for example fission budding uh, generate regeneration fragmentation and spore formation vegetative fragmentation and so on for all these uh, different modes of uh, asexual reproduction we need to uh, study the examples also and uh, when comes to the sexual reproduction um, advantages of sexual reproduction over uh, asexual reproduction they may ask for the two marks and draw a neat label diagram of flower as well as germination of foliage on stigma these two diagram will come for two marks okay next um, role of placenta in the nourishment of the baby and uh, male reproductive system parts and their function and again female reproductive system parts and function uh, we need to study and uh, what happens when uh, egg is not fertilized that is uh, menstrual menstrual cycle uh, that may ask for the sub question two marks and then female feticides so sometimes they may ask uh, for uh, three marks or four marks question from the chapter 4 that is from heredity lesson we can expect the questions like mendel contributions to the genetics and why the mendel has selected uh, pea plants for his experiments and what are the different uh, characteristic features we can observe in the pea plants and um, mono hybrid cross and di hybrid cross this uh, these two are the very very important questions they may ask for the three marks and uh, they have given different genotypic Uh, ratio the genotype uh, pattern so for that they may ask to do the uh, mono hybrid cross and di hybrid cross and then is a sex determination that is a very important question for two marks many times they have asked in the question papers and then 
द लास्ट लेसन दट इज अ वेरी स्मॉल लेसन दट इज अवर एनविरोमेंट फ्रॉम दिस लेसन वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट द क्वेश्चन लाइक इको सिस्टम्स नेचुरल इको सिस्टम्स एंड आर्टिफिशियल इको सिस्टम वॉट डू मीन बाई फूड चेन देन ट्रोफिक लेवल्स एंड बायो मैग्निफिकेशन द एनर्जी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन द डिफरेंट ट्रोफिक लेवल्स एंड वाई द ओजोन लेयर डिस्प्लीशन इज अ काज ऑफ कंसर्न वाई एंड सजेस्ट सम सूटेबल मेथड्स टू डिस्पोज द वेस्ट एंड वॉट इज difference between uh, biodegradable and non biodegradable substances and so on so children i hope this video will definitely going to help you to get a better marks in a upcoming science examination and uh, never forget to practice the diagrams uh, draw the diagrams very neatly with the proper labeling uh, and present your paper with a neat presentation unless you practice you won't get success all the best for all of you namaste